Okay, this one's going to be pretty straightforward, but I would definitely bring out that, rewrite that as this first. Negative 1 times the integral from negative 3 to 0, e to the x dx. Because then it makes it just a lot more transparent what you're doing. So it's negative 1. Well, the integral of e to the x is e to the x, and you're going from negative 3 to 0, so it's negative 1 times f of 0 subtract f of negative 3. So negative 1 e to the 0 subtract negative 1 cubed. Well e to the 0 is 1, negative 1 times 1 is negative 1, so what we have in here is negative 1, and then subtract a negative is adding a positive, e cubed. And now this negative 1 is multiplying across each of those. So negative 1 times 1 is 1, and negative 1 times e to the third is negative e to the third. When you type that in your calculator, you get a numerical value. So let's see what that would be. So you type in 1 subtract, hit second, ln, and then that gives you the caret and the parentheses. So type 3, write parentheses, enter, and you get, that's about negative 19.0855. And I'll leave it at that. All right, and I think we're, I'm going to, this is a short one. Oh, no, 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 one more. We have a cosine one. Okay, so if you look back at the functions, the cosine function, its derivative is negative sine, and if y is sine, its derivative is cosine. So perfect. Going backwards, the integral of cosine is sine. So f of x will equal sine of x, and we're going from negative pi halves to 0. So that's going to be sine of 0, subtract sine, negative pi halves. So this is looking at the unit circle will be helpful. Uh, sine of 0 is 1 sine of negative, so this is, oh, I'm sorry, sine of zero is zero, and negative pi halves is the same thing as three pi halves. Well, sine is negative one. You could also type that into your calculator, and you'd get negative one. So now what we have is zero subtract negative one, we should get one. All right, that's it.